legends, it's Aqua and today we are going to figure out how many different coloured models there are in my collection. But we obviously won't include any of the blank customs or resins that I have because they don't have colours yet. Now I have made categories for everyone just to make it a little bit easier. You of course can adjust it depending on what you have in your collection. Some people might have decorators or exotic animals. I don't, so this is just the basic list that I came up with. But anyways, the main categories are bay slash brown, blacks, chestnuts, palominos, buckskins. We've got other dilutes, which includes like rulers and duns and perlinos, etc. <laughs> and then we've got appaloosas, paint slash pinto as well as rones and other slash mix because I do have a pinto looser in my collection and he's you know a mix between a paint and an appaloosa so <laughs> he's got a mix of both. So now we have the fun task of going through all of my models and figuring out where they need to go so let's go. Also I forgot to mention there are sub colors as well so if I had to give an example these two guys are perfect. Um, they're both appaloosas but they're different types of appaloosas. We've got a blanket appaloosa and then this guy is a leopard appaloosa so if you really want wanted to get technical about it, you could put subdivisions in for each colour, but I'm just going to stick to the very basic categories for this video. <laughs> but on the end here we've got two Appaloosas, as I mentioned already, we've got a Roan, we've got a Brindle. Some people would say, oh he's just a chestnut, but no, if you get a really good look at him, he does have brindle markings. My camera is definitely not going to focus, but he would probably go into other slash mix. Then we've got a paint, paint, got a bay, got another paint, got an Appaloosa, because <laughs> he's so pretty, um, Palomino, and then another paint. Uh, moving on to my Nakotas, we've got a Palomino, this guy is a Sabino. Uh, moving on to my tiny little fellas, <laughs> we've got an Appaloosa. Um, my mini Lola doesn't have any colours, so she won't be... Uh, What's the word? Included. <laughs> then we have a grey, we've got a palomino, a paint, a paint, a flaxen chestnut, so here we'll go into chestnut. We've got a grey, we've got a sabino, then we've got, I guess you could say is a black, but some people might say is like a sealed bay, so uh, what am I going to say? I'll say is a black for now, sorry. <laughs> and then we have an appaloosa. Then we have my two other Nakotas. This guy is a Gruula, so he'll go into other Dilute. And then we have a Roan. Onto my insanely large Dundee Conga. It's still growing, by the way. Um, we have an Appaloosa. This guy is blank, so he won't be included. We've got two Greys. So this guy is a Dapple Grey, and this guy is a Rose Dapple Grey. Then we have a Paint, an Appaloosa. We've got a Bay. We've got two Chestnuts. Then we've got two Rones. I know this guy doesn't look like he's got Roning, but trust me, he's a Rone. Um, another Rone. We've got a Paint because he's got Sabino markings. We've got another Paint, and this guy is also a Paint because he's got Sabino markings as well. Moving down a shelf, we have a couple of resins. Obviously, they're all blank, so they won't be included, except for this dude. Uh, I am still undecided as to what color he is. I've been saying Palomino, but he kind of looks like a flaxen chestnut. So <laughs> I'm going to put him in Palomino for now and we'll see. <laughs> then of course we have some of my other Peter Stones. We've got a grey, we've got a chestnut, we've got two bays, we've got a paint, um, and this guy's also a paint, you can't really tell, but he does have some spots under his blanket. <laughs> then we have a bay done. And another bay done. So both these guys will go into other dilute. And then we have a flax and chestnut. On this shelf, we have a dun. Now, believe it or not, this guy does have a dorsal stripe. So, well, it's not focusing on him at all. Um, this guy does have a dorsal stripe. If I pull him out and show you guys, he has a dorsal stripe. So he is technically a dun. Um, so <laughs> he's gonna go in other dilute. This guy, he's a. I I think the artist said he's a liver chestnut. I think. I gotta go and double check that. But he will go into chestnut either way. Um, and then this guy will be in grey because he's a flea bit in grey. Like, look at all his spots. They're so pretty. 
And then on the next shelf, we have a Sudi Palomino. So this guy will go into Palomino. We've got a paint, we've got a Palomino, although some people might argue that she's a dun. She doesn't have a dorsal stripe though, so I have always said that she's a Palomino. <laughs> also, I should probably mention I'm not an expert when it comes to horse colours. I'm still learning, so <laughs> don't quote me on anything really. Um, but this girl is a Bay Dun, so she will go into other dilute. Moving on, we have an Appaloosa. We've got a paint. Um, this guy's just a Bay. Got another Appaloosa, got a bay, and then this guy is a Sooty Buckskin. On the next shelf, we have an Appaloosa. We've got a paint. This guy does not count because he doesn't have any colors. <laughs> we've got a paint, we've got an Appaloosa, and then we've got a gray. Trust me, he's gray, even with the blanket on. <laughs> Moving down, we've got a paint. Believe it or not, this girl does have Sabino markings on her belly. Where are they? I know they're there somewhere. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to turn her around. But she is a paint. Um, this girl's also a paint, and then this girl is an Appaloosa. I just realized I have so many paints in my collection because we have another paint, we've got a paint, we've got another paint, and then we've got another paint. <laughs> got four paints right here. Then we have a strawberry roan, so she'll go in roan, obviously. We've got a grey dun, so she will go into other dilute. Then we have a dapple grey, and then a paint as well, because she does have Sabino markings, so she's a paint. <laughs> then of course, oh my god, <laughs> we've got another paint. Um, and then we've got another paint, then we've got a bay, and then another paint. <laughs> Oh, lo and behold, in the photo studio, we've got another paint. <laughs> this guy's brand new, by the way. He doesn't have a name. So if you have any name suggestions, feel free to comment some down below. <laughs> On the next shelf, we have a gray. We've got a Pintaloosa. So this guy will go into other slash mix. Then we have a red done. So he'll go into other dilute. And then this guy will go into paint because he does have... Sabino markings, so he is paint. <laughs> and then on the next shelf, we have another paint. <laughs> we've got an Appaloosa, finally. Oh my God, something different. Um, <laughs> then we've got a Gruula, so he'll go into other dilute. Um, we've got a gray, we've got another gray. We've got another Appaloosa. This guy's a paint, and then we have another paint. <laughs> oh, look at you guys, we've got another paint. <laughs> because I don't have enough of those. And then we've got another rose gray, so he will go into gray. We've got another paint because I just, yep, I think we've got the point now. And this guy's also a paint as well. <laughs> Moving down to my Idacus models, we've got a gray. For this guy, I've been trying to figure out if he's an Appaloosa or a paint. I think he's an Appaloosa because if he has spots on his like nose and around his eyes, I'm pretty sure it's an Appaloosa. Um, I think he's also modeled after an Appaloosa, so I'm gonna put him as Appaloosa. Then we have a paint, we've got a bay, then we have a chestnut, a chestnut, and a chestnut, because those three are all chestnuts. <laughs> They're just different types of chestnuts. On the next shelf, we have my Duendes. So we have a, I think he's a buckskin. I have been saying he's a buckskin, but he could be a bay. Uh, I'm gonna put him as a buckskin. <laughs> Then we have a bay, we've got a chestnut, and then we have two greys. So this guy's a rose grey and this guy's just a dapple grey. And then we have an Appaloosa, and I think he's a Palomino. He could be a flaxen chestnut, but I think he's a Palomino. <laughs> Moving on, we have another paint, as well as another paint, and then we have an Appaloosa because you might as well. <laughs> Onto some little ponies, we have a paint. This guy, I'd say he's a dun, but it's kind of hard to tell. Babies are always so hard to figure out because they don't stay the same color. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put him as a dun for now. Um, don't hate me, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and then we have a paint, we've got another paint, and then we have an Appaloosa. Over here with my two flash models, we've got a chestnut and a chestnut. <laughs> They're both chestnut. This guy's just a liver chestnut and this guy's a fiery chestnut, I guess you could say. Um, and then we have my Geronimos. So this guy, I've said he's a silver bay, but he kind of looks like a flaxen chestnut. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna put him as a bay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have a chestnut. We've got a Gruula, so this guy will go into other dilute. 
Then we have a roan. Yes, this guy is roaned. He's a buckskin, but he's a roan, so he's going into roans. And then we have another paint. <laughs> I am seriously reconsidering my life. I've got way too many paints in my collection. I think they are definitely the highest scoring so far. So we have another paint. We've got a Palomino. We've got a Silver Bay, which will go in Bay. Um, and then we've got another Bay. Uh, we have another paint. <laughs> and then we have a Roan. And lastly, we have a Grey. Alrighty, you guys, so we just went through my entire collection and now we can look at the scores. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I just counted them all and I think we have a pretty clear winner. We have 45 models that are paint slash pintos. <laughs> I think I have a huge problem, but then again, you guys know I love horses with loud colors, so yeah, I'm not surprised that paint's kind of over shot everything else in my collection. <laughs> so we've got 45 paint slash pintos and then coming in second we've got 18 Appaloosas. Third is greys surprisingly at 16 and I only have one black model in my collection so <laughs> that's pretty sad. I need to get more black models obviously. I did also write down the blanks because I have quite a few models that are either sitting on my shelf that aren't painted or that are coming so <laughs> i didn't include any of the models that i know um like what colors they are that they're being painted because i kind of want it to be a surprise for everyone so sorry but i'm going to keep that a secret from now on um, but yeah, that was really fun actually. It's really cool to see how many different colors I actually have in my collection. If I really wanted to, I'm not sure I will, but maybe I'll go through and do like all the sub colors as well because <laughs> I have a lot of paints clearly and I need to figure out how many of each type of paint I actually have. So that would be cool. I might do that afterwards and I don't know, maybe post it somewhere. <laughs> we'll see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you do end up doing this video as well, because I would love to see all of your collections and what colors you guys have as well. So yeah, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Oh, and don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's at aqua.models. Okay, peace out. <laughs> Stay legendary.